Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk 4712. And today I want to focus back on gate examination. I know this is the time, the May month, where majority of the people push the final pedal to the metal towards gate examination. Now you might have started in February itself. You might have appeared in 2022. Gate examination, you might be in third year, you might be in fourth year, you might be a pass out and a dropout, or you are preparing along with job, MTech, whatever the case might be, this is the time for you to become serious. Because six months to seven months is the time that you are going to require if you are in the major streams of engineering. So I'm, I'm going to discuss how most people are wrong about gate 2023 because they are looking at gate 2022 and majority of the people are looking at mechanical gate 2022 now this is the mistake that most people make they look at a particular branch of gate examination and think or try to predict how the next examination is going to be like or most of the time they just look at gate examination their visions are not wider than that but I've seen this examination for over eight years now, 2014 and 15, I saw it through the eyes of my seniors, 2016, 17 and 18, I appeared myself, 2019, 20, 21 and 22, I saw thousands and thousands of them through this YouTube channel and I created so many content. If you ever need any advice with how to prepare for gate examination, there's a video on that topic on this channel. Because it is already over here, that's the only reason I'm not remaking it. There's a playlist called Gate, a complete guide, and you are going to find everything that you need. So if you're looking for pre preparation tips, that's where you go. But over here, I want to talk about things that I've not talked about and things that you have to know as an aspirant. So let's discuss why most people are wrong about gate 2023 because they just saw gate 2022 and mostly saw mechanical gate 2022 and they are going to be mistaken i'm going to talk about things in a practical manner with logic and reason and with most importantly examples of not only gate examination that happened before and what changes we saw but also other examinations and the pattern you are going to understand is kind of constant. Gate examination is a constantly evolving examination, not the pattern of the examination or the syllabus of the examination, but the competition has always been deciding what kind of examination it is going to be. And that competition itself is changing. So most people, when they put their predictions, they forget about the competition and the students itself who are going to participate because competition has always been the major factor of deciding any examination of competitive domain when it comes to national level examination. So let's pay attention towards that. Not only that the number of people appearing in gate examination is dropping, but also the number of people who enrolled for engineering in the past three, four years are dropping. So how come you are applying the same strategies every year? Also, there's a huge change that the access of knowledge has changed. YouTube has been a free resource for the past three to four years for every gate aspirant. And on top of that, we are having online coaching at affordable pricing, which is accessible from any corner of this country. So these all things are changing the entire dynamic. So even if you're thinking about your plans in the future, that whether I'm going to take a drop or whether I'm not going to sit for campus placement, whether I'm going to quit my job, these things are going to be decided by the whole dynamics being changed and you should pay close attention. Now let us pay attention towards easy or difficult set or year of examination. Now ever since gate 2022 has happened, especially in mechanical domain, people have been thinking that next year, that is gate 2023, is going to be very difficult. Now it can be difficult or it can be easy as well, but you do not know. Now please understand there's a difference between being ready for a difficult set or being 100% prepared only for a difficult set. Now you have to understand that even if you are good with difficult kind of questions or good in solving difficult conceptual questions, you might end up not being able to solve easy questions. What does that mean? If I'm good to walk till level 10, I'll definitely be good to walk till level seven in a building, right? doesn't really work like that. These are different kind of questions. So people who are very good at conceptual questions generally make silly mistakes in easy questions. And that is the reason a lot of people were able to crack gate examination with flying colors, but were not able to crack engineering services prelims 
और एट द सेम टाइम पीपल वेर एबल टू क्रैक इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस बट नॉट गेट और इसरो बट नॉट बाग बाग बट नॉट इसरो इसरो बट नॉट गेट आई कैन कीप ऑन गोइंग बट द वे दैट इट वर्क इज दैट दैट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ विच यू हैव टू बी गुड एट सॉल्विंग ना लिसन टू बी केयरफुल इवन आई से दिस येस गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज स्लाइटली डिफिकल्ट some would say that it's an understatement but whatever any examination that has ever taken place i'm not only talking about gate but any examination has always got three kinds of questions is the easy kind of questions the quick ones that everyone will be able to solve the moderate ones that questions which have appeared before it's just with new data and little bit of here and there twists and difficult questions that are never seen before the only thing that changes which makes some people say that this year question paper was more difficult or this year question paper was easy is the percentage of these three in certain years the easy questions the percentage increases from let us say 30% to 50 to 60% and you are going to see more easy questions and you are going to say yeah this year paper was easy some other year moderate and some other year difficult questions will increase like what happened in gate 2022 and people will say that now question paper is difficult and from now on gate examination is going to be more difficult but that is kind of stupid to think about because even in that year there were some easy questions so why is that it's just that the percentage decreased that percentage fluctuates so i'm going to share examples with you because i know that i'm talking to engineers and you do not take anything without logic so here it goes isro 2017 may examination was moderate just like you would expect the december one was completely out of pattern which makes it difficult and that is what they saw and took it to 2018 april examination they thought that now it is going to be out of pattern paper and it is exactly like what you would expect if you did not see december 2017 paper so now everyone is thrown around the corner because they were not expecting it and they could not perform well in easy set they were just thinking that the set might be difficult and they made a lot of silly mistake they did not have the speed so in 2017 december you needed to solve somewhere around 50 questions and in after just 4 to 5 months now you need to solve over 75 questions out of 80 questions so everything is changed same happened with bark examination 17 was difficult 18 super easy and people are just thrown off they were just not expecting it has even happened in gate examination 3 years in electrical engineering one year it is super difficult next year it is super easy and next year again it is difficult it is not just a kind of examination or a branch it just happens all across and smart people are not expecting or having preconceived notions that this year paper will be difficult i'm ready for a difficult set just like i'm ready for an easy set and being ready for a difficult set does not mean that i'm ready for an easy set automatically by default they are not the same thing you have to be ready for all kind of questions easy kind of questions for that solve engineering services prelims question psu questions isro previous year questions some of them for difficult questions obviously solve gate questions if you can get a hold of certain kind of bark questions bark does not release it question paper but if you can get a hold of some memory based question you can go through it there's some other conceptual examination you can even look at engineering services main subjective questions for that kind of questions but there are all kind of questions available and moderate will be almost in every examination certain questions will be moderate easy examinations will have their difficult questions as moderate difficult exams will be having their medium to easy questions as moderate you'll always find it some people are surprised that why is there no questions from strength of material i was expecting 10 questions from here you cannot expect anything they did not promise you when you were filling the form that i'm going to give you 10 questions from strength of material that does not work you have to be ready for everything when you are appearing for gate examination all 12 subjects should be ready that is the meaning of 100% preparation or i'm prepared for this examination any way other is just you are being lazy that okay if if my luck hits then it's going to work out and it's like closing my eyes and throwing the stone hoping it will hit the target and that will happen for a very lucky person but also the probability is very low so you cannot rely on luck and later on tell that my luck did not work or someone else got lucky 
people who really crack this examination voluntarily are ready for all and that is what you have to be ready for all the rest of the strategy tips tricks and all the methodology revision method test series when to give how much to give what is the test series analysis i've discussed everything in the past three years i'll just link the gate a complete guide playlist down in the description box i've also made a similar playlist on barc some people are having their barc interview lined up there's so many requests for me to have mock interviews i'm not having mock interviews this year just not possible but you should go through my barc uh, interview guidance videos it will help i'm going to put that in the description box as well just in case you have got a barc interview call that's what i wanted to say do not have an expectation that this examination is going to be difficult if you have that easy examination it's going to shock you and you're not going to be able to crack that and then you're going to be sad that man easy said i just made silly mistakes but ultimately it is your mistake no matter what it is your mistake if you were not prepared for everything and that's what i wanted to say over here if you have any more questions put it down in the comment section you have some opinions let me know down in the comment section as well i'll address it more things can be discussed in further videos there's no added cost for me to make a video it's just that it should be justified and uh, that is why i do not make a lot of videos these days on gate because most of it is already covered if there's some new topic i'm definitely going to do it hit like if you found this video very useful and share it with your friends if you think that your friends can be benefited that's about it see you next time till then bye